Your best guide to writing electron configurations is the table, but there are a few exceptions, such as chromium and copper. If you use the pattern from the periodic table, the electron configuration for chromium, you would expect to end with 4s2, 3d4. Now that's a total of six electrons in this fourth period. But it turns out that chromium doesn't actually end in 4s2, 3d4. It ends with 4s1, 3d5. The same thing happens with copper, which if we use the pattern from the table, copper's electron configuration should end with 4s2, 3d9. That's 11 electrons but it doesn't. It also has only a single valence S electron, just like chromium. Now, these exceptions are due to the closeness in energy of these upper level orbitals. There are several other exceptions, I've colored them in blue here on the periodic table, and we'll name those elements in just a second. All of them have a single valence level S electron. Here's how I remember these anomalies. I think of this little tiny dog who's saying, Rrr. Now, that represents, if you look up on this periodic table with the blue squares, that represents these two elements, ruthenium and rhodium. So that's the Rrr part. And then there's a break on each side, and then there's a column. So I imagine this little dog standing on the porch of a rather expensive home that has columns in the front and he's saying Rrr, as you walk by those elements all have a single valence level s electron now this material is not required for the ap chemistry exam however i find it interesting and useful so I ask my students to know this since I've come up with a mnemonic to help them. It's really not too hard to remember. And here it is again. Those are the elements that have a single valence level S electron. The notable elements, I should say. There's your mnemonic. And if you want to think of a bodybuilder as doing the same thing with his forearms as those columns on the left and the right, you can do that too.